Hello and welcome to this week's video. I'm using this picture of my family and white marshmallow basil cardstock uh, which I am just taking off the branding strip there and I am going to be using a lot of different clock stamps and some Versamark ink. Uh, the idea here is that I'm going to be creating a pattern with the clocks. Um, I am putting Cosmic Shimmer Arctic Pearl Luster um, embossing powder on here now and then going to heat that up and then I will choose another stamp and stamp a bit more. So this one um, because it is just a luster it is just a shiny one and there is no colour to it so as I apply this to the cardstock you can't really see very much of it. Um, you will see sometimes when I hold the page up you will see parts of the clocks um, the brush that I'm using here, in case you're interested, is a Body Shop um, blusher brush. Uh, it is a very nice brush that takes off all the tiny little particles um, and uh, I use this every time I use embossing powder. So I keep coming in with different size stamps here, embossing as I go and uh, heating those up and then um, adding adding some more. I can see the different clocks um, even though you can't see it on the video uh, but I can see each one so I'm not overlapping them I'm putting one next to the other and as we develop this video you will see them come to life. So here I am coming in with some Distress Oxide and I'm going to be going over uh, the page and over where I have just stamped. So I started off with warm lipstick and I'm now doing candied apple. And then I come back in with a little bit more of the warm lipstick and I mash the two colours together. Um, so that uh, when you notice here you can see a definite uh, border between the red and the orange. Um, so that's getting the colour the way I like it and then I'm merging the two together. It's the nicest way I've found and the easiest way I've found to be able to get a nice sort of rainbow. You also see Candy come to visit <laughs> and uh, you saw me rubbing across the page with a soft cloth. That was just to get rid of some of the ink that sat on top of the embossing powder so that uh, you can see the clocks better and just clean the page up because that ink won't uh, sink into the uh, embossing powder. It acts as a resist on the page. So if I wasn't to rub it off, I'm likely as I continue my page and to continue my project to smudge that across the page. So I use my cloth to wipe that off. And here you see me coming back with the yellow to mash up to the green. And I do that all the way along. Uh, you will notice that as I take my pads off, I have a little piece of Velcro on the bottom of my um, ink pads. This was a trick or a tip a friend of mine uh, suggested in order to keep them all together and uh, safe. I was uh, did have elastic bands around each one of them, but that was fiddly and sometimes the pad actually fell between um, the uh, pad and actually came off and I lost a couple of them and this is a great way of storing them. Uh, and here I am with the purple. I was going to put the purple, I didn't want as much purple on the page. Uh, so you'll see that that's a slightly thinner strip. Now I made a template uh, for me doing all of these holes with my Japanese hole punch and my camera uh, died whilst I was doing that and therefore it didn't record that section unfortunately. I have gotten two little branding strips here uh, that um, went with the paper pack that I'm using and I thought that bold uh, black and white spot would nicely border the uh, rainbow and the clocks and now I'm coming in with some um, Oh, what are they called? Eyelets. Um, some eyelets here. So I'm dragging each one of the colours down. So I have the red, the, the pink, the red, the orange, the yellow, the green, the blue and the purple. And I'm dragging them into the centre um, of the uh, page on the right hand side and dragging those down. I thought it would be a nice way of pulling the elements together and dragging them across the page. Uh, I'm, you're not going to see me do all of these because that would be rather tiresome and boring for you. But my hole that I chose 
with my Japanese um, screw punch to make the little holes slightly smaller than the eyelets so that when I put them in at the top of the page and I turn the page over they don't all fall out although one of them's proven to be a little bit tiresome it doesn't want to sit in where I've where I've put it and then in a minute when I turn it over it um, it doesn't want to sit in place when I turn it over and I have to keep pushing it back in but it worked for all of the others um, so then I um, knock the backs of those in and here we go so I'm putting the branding strip on I'm really annoyed about the corner here I don't like the way that these are sitting and I'm really not happy with it I tried to take one of them off um, and I was going to replace it with a different color but I couldn't get it off um, and so I gave up uh, later on off camera I did take it off and I swapped the color um, because it really was bugging me um, so I'm just popping in a couple of extra um, eyelets that uh, now that I know where my photograph is going and I think I'm ready to glue down those uh, border strips that will cover off the, the uh, messy edge as well you won't see the messy edge where um, I inked up to so that will help cover that so that the page looks a little bit cleaner and I've also thought about where the um, eyelets were so that I didn't uh, interfere with those. Um, I thought it needed a little bit of something so I'm getting out some wooden hearts and I'm going to put those on each one of the colours and make a little wooden heart rainbow as well. Um, so those are all going to need to be coloured with the same inks. So I literally just take the wooden piece and drop it onto the ink pad and sort of move it around to make sure it's nicely covered. Um, so that they're all there it just gives a bit more dimension to to the page there and um, it is I love this picture of, of my children and my husband and myself uh, this was taken when our children were uh, two so this was taken in 2002 so we are definitely going back in time uh, taking a little trip down the memory lane with this now I'm using this Dusty Attics, it is the hourglass or the mini hourglass and I think these are absolutely gorgeous and I'm coming in with some Creative Expressions Midnight Gilding Wax to colour the bottom one um, and then I am using the Viva Decor Inca Gold in the yellow gold. Now these dried out and some time ago I thought they were, I was either going to throw them away um, or I was going to try to revive them. So I actually revived them with some water. So they are a little bit more liquidy, which is why you saw me painting those on. Now this, this is some sand from a beach in South Australia, where I come from. And this is a piece of home that I carry with me. And I thought actually it'd be quite nice to put in my, um, in my hourglass some proper sand from a beach in Glenelg in South Australia. So uh, that has gone on to my page as well. Now I'm just gluing the um, hourglass down and putting that uh, together. I have some Amy Tangerine thickers here, which I'm going to use my title. And my title is going to be Time Flies. So I spelt out the words here. Um, and then when I laid them next on the page, I didn't like them. So I wanted to use this alphabet, so rather than find another black alphabet that I could use, I just coloured them up. So I used some Adirondack um, ink for these. You could use an ink pad, uh, you could use a marker, um, you can use pretty much anything. I do like white, white thickers because you can colour them up to whatever colour you need on the, on the day. Now my picture, I didn't want to get lost, so I decided that I would back it on a little piece of card. White seemed to be the best option. Black didn't look right, and I didn't think it would be right to use any sort of colours. So I just used a white card. kind of brings out the shirts that my husband and I are both wearing. And I've got some Amy Tangerine um, ephemera here, and I'm going to use this little one that says what a fun day and a few others uh, from the pack in the same color scheme 
and um, I'm also going to use some of the puffy stickers as well in this collection. So I quite like this one. It says, remember the purple, the purple writing. I was trying to bring in some of that yellow, but I just didn't like the way it looked. Um, so this is pretty much how it ended up. So I used the what a fun day and the two purple arrows, uh, one on top of the other. And then I've got that heart, which kind of encompasses most of the colors and sort of brings the rainbow back onto the right hand side of that photograph. Candy's come back to say hello and to have a look at what's going on. I think uh, she was quite interested in the smell of the Adirondack alcohol inks. Um, so she decided to go and sniff that <laughs> and uh, I took this little splash it said I think it said goals and I'm thinking I'm never going to use that word um, but I quite liked it and I liked the colour so I thought I'd pop a little bit of that at the top and the bottom and that's pretty much it for the ephemera and I've come in with these puffy stickers <laughs> Now that thing at the right hand side really is upsetting me or was upsetting me. So I decided that there were quite a few birds in the various colours that I could use on this page in my rainbow. And so I used a green one on the triangle uh, top of the, the um, right hand on the right hand side. And then I've come in with my journaling. I uh, chose an orange pen for this one just to tie all the orange together. And the last thing to do, as always, is my cat. So cat on the page. And uh, that's it for this week. Sorry there was no video last week. Um, but uh, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it makes up for it. Loving the rainbow and I hope you are too. Thanks for watching. Bye.